here on today. He was at our presentation. going to just, you know, talk. He showed up. He came. It was raining um, on that day. He was there at the back school prayer rally. We, we, we continue to go on. And so we thank him. Thank God for him. I can come up and say a few words. How's everybody doing this afternoon? Right. Fantastic. Well, I want to thank Dory uh, from the bottom of my heart. Um, Detroit needs more people like you. Um, and, and, when I say that, what I mean is that um, she kept my feet to the fire in every way possible, um, both in, 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 in being assertive um, and just um, just you know making sure that you know I know what date to be here, I know what time to be involved, and you know through working in this job, I've come across a lot of people that um, you know don't keep my feet to the fire and it just it, it, it makes my job that much better because you know it's like I, I need to go out there and stay on my P's and Q's so um, I appreciate you I appreciate what you've done for this community um, you know coming out and uh, seeing the kids on that day uh, in late summer um, it, it was it was sad uh, there are kids out there that don't have the necessary things that are going to help their education, you know, sp specific, you know, specifically the small things like like pens and pencils, the things that you know we all think are are, are cheap and are easy to come by. Uh, these kids show up to school without, and um, you know, when I was contacted by yourself and, and by Yvonne, I said, you know, let me go out and, and, and use some of my resources. Um, because this community needs this, this, this kind of resource. This community need, needs funding. And I made a call to Walmart. Um, and they called me back within a couple days. And they said, you know, yeah, we, 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 we want to help you. We know the struggle out there. We want to help out. Um, so they, they, they cut me a very generous check uh, that I told um, Dory that I was going to present to the church. Um, and I just want to just want to say that you know, although I uh, was was uh, there were some comments made earlier about about me and, and how you know most politicians they don't show up until after the election. You know, I have to say, in addition to that, um, in addition to that. This time around, I'm turned out of office, so I cannot run again okay. for elected office in the House anyway. Um, so, you know, w what does that mean? That means that uh, you know I won't have a title anymore, um, which is about the least of my worries. Um, you know, for for uh, it, 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 you know, so so goes the saying. Um, as it go? It goes. Uh, when, when you take on this, this opportunity, a lot is expected, more or less. That's right, amen. And despite not having a title come January 1st, you know, I, I am not leaving uh, the city of Detroit. Amen. I'm not leaving um, the great 10th district, which, you know, continues to have a lot of issues. And, um, you know, it, it's one of the things that I feel like it became part of my persona, it became part of my personality. To, to serve the public, and that doesn't necessarily have to happen when, when you have a, a title next to your name. Um, you know, it, it's been a real pleasure. I, there's so many great um, people in the community, and uh, Dory, although we just sort of met, you know, I, it, it feels like that we've known each other for a, for a lifetime. Amen. Um, Amen. And some of the, the work that was mentioned earlier about, about the baseball club and that sort of thing, I want you to know just right now that you know, I, I'm going to try to do what I can to be involved, um, either, you know, in administration or, you know, providing these kids with, you know, with, with um, some, some kind of influence, a positive influence. You know, I came into this position, I was 22 years old, uh, very young, I went door to door, and I got the, the approval of the, of the district to, um, 
to go to Lansing and to be the people's voice. And I've learned a lot from that, and I've tried to become an influence for, for, for young young people. Amen. Um, Amen. But I can't, I, I can't do it alone. It's, 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 it's about these great institutions, like these wonderful churches around Detroit, you know, to bring those kids in, to give them something to do, uh, you know, after school and on the weekend. Um, I don't think Detroit would be as strong as it is if it wasn't, you know, these great institutions like, like, like Petra Church that, you know, has the opportunity to give influence and to, to mentor. Um, a lot of uh, what I heard just recently uh, in, in the speech that was given by our, our great folks from the inner city drills uh, team is, is just it's, 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 it's remarkable how these kids out there have, have lost you know mentorship and you know we got to do everything that we possibly can to provide that so you know it's not just you know here we are talking about you know the church you know um, Dory has, has you know brought something in addition you know to the people, you know, to the kids, and that being the baseball league, that that, that gets them in, uh, involved, and that's that's the power, yeah. you know, of real leaders. That's the power of leadership, yeah. right there. Right. And these kids are gonna they're gonna come up. Uh, they're gonna have something to do. They're gonna, um, you know, learn about 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 a sport. They're gonna learn about about teamwork, and um, and, and it's truly truly an amazing thing. Well, I come here today uh, just to, to 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 give thanks, uh, you know. For bringing me in and to allow me to, to be a part of uh, of your church. Some of that just so happens to be Jewish, which, you know, <laughs> is something that I, uh, you know, am very uh, 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 privileged, uh, you know, to be born into that faith. There's, there's um, not not too many of us, uh, you know, if you, if you compare it to, you know, the rest of religions throughout the world. And so, you know, I uh, involved, to some extent, I'm actually involved in the downtown synagogue, which is actually the last remaining synagogue in the city of Detroit that actually owns its own building. And uh, a bunch of young people from Wayne State, uh, a couple other uh, Jewish people from, from the suburbs, young kids have gotten together and we sort of started to, you know, to, 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 to bring this, this, this church or this, this synagogue up in a very positive way. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty good about that. But there, there is no religion out there but, but, the, but, 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 but the Baptists that really, truly make me feel like spiritually awake. <laughs> and you know, uh, it's just, all right. you know, just 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 sitting here. I mean, you know, between um, between your talent and, and between the music. I mean, I was just like, I, I was about ready to start jumping up and down. <laughs> 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 uh, you know, to some extent, I got a little, con you know, self control. But, um, so so anyway, uh, I'm a little bit of a, a little bit of a talker, but um, it just. Uh, like I said, you know, from the beginning, um, we need, uh, you know, good, 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 good politicians out there. We need good churches. We need good community members. We need, you know, good people that that help, you know, bring our community up. I can only do so much as, as an elected official bringing good policy to, to Detroit. You know, it's it's about you know churches like this that really um, work work well, uh, you know, to, to to do the job of, of the community building on the community side. And we had, we had a huge loss on Tuesday. Um, you know, maybe not everybody in this audience you know prescribes to the you know Democratic Party, um, but you know I, I feel that out of all of this, somehow we lost the, the the vote that we had in 08, where people were really you know revved up about Obama and about um, some of these other good issues, and they show up to the polls. In the midterm election on Tuesday, we didn't have that, and, and there's a reason for that. A lot of money went into to these elections from from the wrong from the wrong pockets, right. yeah. and discouraged a lot of people from, from from showing up to the polls. And that's the last thing that we want to do uh, in terms of you know advocacy, because that sort of you know creates some friction. We we want folks to go out there and vote, and with, with all the negative attacks that came out there, people got really turned off, and I feel that. We've sort of lost a little bit of the vote that was there in 08. That scares me. That scares me because a community has complete control uh, in terms of who they elect and who their leaders are. And the fact that, that people just didn't show up on Tuesday, I'm scared because I feel like we might have lost them forever. Um, and, and 
you know, I'm going to try to do what I can. I'm going to ask, you know, the community that they try to do what they can to come together and to put that passion and put that uh, understanding of, of the powers in our hands uh, so that we can get, get the word out there that, that, you know, we have an opportunity to take things back. Um, in, in, my, in, in my position, the, the Republican control, which is pretty, mu pretty much what we have all over the, the board right now, and over the next two years, is going to be um, it's going to be damaging uh, to to urban policy, and I I take some of this very personally as chair of the urban policy committee in Lansing. Um, another thing that's going to happen is redistricting, which is also called reapportionment, where um, Republicans, excuse me, politicians get to redraw district lines. Um, and, and over the, the past uh, you know 20 30 years, those that have been in control have. Uh, redrawn the lines in such a way that, that, that hurts you know, Democratic bases, and Detroit is one of those. 